place. Oh, thank you. All right. We got a special treat for you this evening. Circa what? 1963? Oh, wow. Circa 1964. Ladies and gentlemen, for your listening pleasure, please welcome Bobby Francis. what's going on today uh, prior to the uh, third British invasion can I say that in this room yeah, sure. the Beatles and the clones that came in in the mid 60s we uh, we thought that uh, in order to kind of get a record out you had to have a single artist the Bobby Darren's Bobby Vinton's Bobby V's yep. Yep. So, so four of us, one guy says, I got a guitar, let's start a band. I said, I have a garage, let's rehearse. Uh, and we did it, and we recorded a couple of songs, late 63, I believe, um, and didn't do anything with them. Everybody went out to college, and fortunately, my partner who was a keyboardist, songwriter, said, I've got a job in a recording studio in Buffalo, let's make a record. So we kind of said, sure, one song would do it. Who the hell needs an album? So we did. We wrote one, and we're going to do it now, and then I'll tell you about what happened for the second one. This thing is called um, Summer's Coming.
to you that that's the first time I ever did that song live. Honest to God. Thank you. What uh, what you did back then when you were a Bobby somebody, and of course Connie Francis was big on the female side, so are you Connie's brother? <laughs> what we did was we went around to disc jockey record hops and lip sync, lip synced with it. So I never did the song live the first time. Thank you very much. <laughs> now getting getting back to the story, so we laid down this track. And we knew we had a couple of others, but now we're hot. Notice in that lyric it says all the kids will be having fun at the beach, having fun. So I said we need a another song. It has to be beach type. It has to be surfing. Woo! Yeah. What are we gonna do? Well, the first thing we did was send somebody off for lunch and a couple of bottles of wine. Yeah. My partner on it. We were at a grand piano. And a, and a singer who was uh, under contract with the recording guy, the, the guy that ran the studio and had a label, we sat there and pounded out a song that would be a flip side. I had a, I had a title, At the Beach. Oh, great. How about stealing Danny and the Juniors at the hop? A big tune, record hop tune back in 1950-something. You know, uh, well, you can rock it, you can roll it, you can stop it, you can oh, shoot yeah. it at the hop, pop, 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 right? <laughs> got that? So we got the piano guy going, and how about Beach Boys? Because it has to be beach. Oh, a little guitar on the beginning, maybe steal something from Chuck Berry, but keep it beach, you know? She's having fun, 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 till the daddy took a t-bird away, fun, fun, till the daddy took a t-bird away. All right, bring those things together. We're thinking, it could be Bobby Francis, a solo artist. Let's do a double-sided record. We used the word hit then because we were uh, wishful thinkers. The second thing turned out something like this. We're gonna have fun in the summer sun at the beach. to leaving my motel room to come here for this uh, gig. <laughs> my hotel. <laughs> uh, I was watching some television and uh, from the nation's capital in the mall, in front of the U.S. Capitol building, they were having the annual, I think it's 19th annual, 4th of July concert, a lot of Philharmonia stuff. Tony Danza was the host. And I said, oh, he was great. He was tap dancing and everything. However, Early on in the show, just before I left, he introduced another 1960s singing star. You notice I said another. So, <laughs> Leslie Gore, and she sang to the crowd. So that means that we have a shot to continue. Thank you very much, folks. You're nice. I enjoyed working with you guys. Thank you.